I think there are primarily two reasons why it's attracted so much coverage. Firstly, the Bribery Act creates a new offence of, uh, for corporate uh, companies of failing to prevent bribery. That is quite an unprecedented offence uh, anywhere in the world. Secondly, when the Bribery Act came in, there was a considerable focus on whether gifts and corporate hospitality would fall foul of the Bribery Act legislation. Commonly, certainly up until uh, the Act came into force, such gifts and corporate hospitality were not seen as being subject to the criminal law. Failing to prevent bribery is an offence under Section 7 of the Bribery Act. And in effect, it says that a company uh, has a close connection with the UK is liable potentially for the behaviour of its uh, employees, its agents, its subsidiaries, anywhere in the world if they commit offences or use bribes to gain business. Companies who wish to demonstrate that they've taken steps to prevent uh, their employees or agents committing bribery are required to have in place six adequate procedures. Those adequate procedures are proportionate procedures depending on the size of the company, the markets they are acting in, and the industries in which they wish to do business. Secondly, a procedure of top-level commitment whereby the very senior officers within the company are fully on board and support the anti-corruption measures taken by the company. Thirdly, an adequate risk assessment of the risks of bribery in the various sectors in which a company works. Fourthly, adequate due diligence of contracts, transactions and any other matters of concern. Fifthly, uh, good communication and training of staff so there is a firm anti-bribery culture within the organisation. And finally, monitoring of transactions and of individuals to make sure there's no suggestion that bribes are being paid by people associated with the firm. There's only been one conviction under the Bribery Act by the Serious Fraud Office so far and a few other convictions achieved by the Crown Prosecution Service. That should not, however, be seen as a sign of failure. The Serious Fraud Office are currently investigating a number of blue chip companies for suspected bribery and I think we are likely to see an uplift in Bribery Act uh, prosecutions in the near future.